Hi guys, how's it going? Um, just a quick video tonight again. I always say quick, I always drag on too much. I did have something quite exciting for you, but I'm afraid that one's long gone now. I had a, a video about the Project Debut Carbon Turntable. I'm afraid my uh, camera was stolen in Barcelona, so that one's disappeared off to some Spanish guy somewhere, I'm afraid, and I didn't have a backup. So I'm afraid that one's not going to be coming out. However, I've got two, I'm going to try and smash through two tonight and get them out on online because I feel they're pretty quite uh, good videos and hopefully quite useful and important. The first one being Cambridge Audio's DAC Magic Plus. So this is their premium DAC. Uh, it is a, the bigger version of the DAC Magic 100. Rather than having just uh, one set of digital inputs, it has two. So you get two coax and two optical. You can only use one of them at the, the same time. Obviously, you can your digital optical one or uh, coax one or, or coax one, digital one and, and coax one here as well. So one in each. You can't use all four at the same time. Uh, USB Type B line input, which is pretty useful. XLR output and also to phono output as well, so to RCA output, which is pretty interesting. There is a digital output too. I'm not sure why you'd use it for digital pass-through, other than, other than the fact that it has the headphone 6.35 mil, mil headphone jack. So it is a headphone preamp, it's a preamp, sorry, it's a DAC and headphone amplifier. So it's pretty good and it sounds pretty impressive, I have to say. Listening to it with some Sennheiser HD800s blew me away, really. Uh, <laughs> It is a variable volume, a bit annoying when you turn it on, yeah, as you'll find you have to ramp it up every single time. I quite like the f it would be nice if they had a fixed uh, fixed variable volume adjustment, which would be useful, but oh well, they haven't got one of those. It's just a bit irritating every time you turn it up. Say you're running a TV through it, you have to turn it right up again before you get any source coming out. Uh, yeah, so a fixed switch would have been good. Uh, you can flip between sources with the button here, on and off. It's an inverted button, so it, it locks in. Uh, the, you can get the filter and the phase. Also, it, the nice thing here is it gives you your sampling rate. I don't know if it's focusing the camera. Yeah, you got it comes in your sampling rate, so it gives you what the pass through is. So the the, the, out, the output sample rate, so incoming sample rate. So you get an idea of what kind of quality you're streaming in and what the output of the input <laughs> is, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's really good. XLR, big big thumbs up, you know, getting that balanced signal. Uh, obviously, Earth, you get a much stronger connection. I'd use that if I could. You have an external USB as well, USB type A. Shame they haven't got USB type C. Bit annoying, oh well. But yeah, definitely, if you're putting your Tidal Masters for it and stuff like that, it is a 24-bit DAC, so it's not a 32-bit, so you might find you struggle a bit with that. However, it does the upsampling, just like the Cambridge Azure range. All in all, I think it sounds really good. Very impressed with it. For the money, 299 I don't think you can really go wrong. I think it's definitely better than Arcam's uh, R-Play. I know IR DAC. Uh, I think this is a better piece of kit, and I think it's built better as well. It's smart and it comes with a kind of what looks like uh, what looks like a doorstop. There's actually a kind of stand on it so you can use it. For example, I know my brother uses one for his computer. It's pretty good. Not bad at all. Uh, other than that, yeah, it sounds clean. A lot of detail. There's a huge range in there, especially when plugging it straight into the headphones. I thought there was a lot of depth and detail which I hadn't noticed before. Uh, yeah, brilliant really. The, I guess it is useful with the, the input selector, so it is this. You click the volume button in. And yeah, other than that, good piece of kit here. Yeah. Would definitely recommend it. Quite warm, which is surprising in Cambridge Audio as they tend to be much cleaner, more kind of sharp. But yeah, sounds good. Definitely recommend it, and I 
hope that's helped. If you'd like to subscribe, make sure you keep in contact with the videos. I am doing the Edge review soon. There is an Edge unboxing video, which is pretty interesting because I'm sure you'd all love to see that. The packaging is really high end. I'll put the link in the description below. I'm sorry about the, the turntable video, but I'm afraid that one's been long gone now. But other than that, yeah. I hope you all enjoyed the video, guys. Just a short one today, a few facts and a few details, but give me a shout. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.